Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Bomberman GB. Huh, wonder what the GB stands for. Maybe it's not a Mario or a Mega Man or a Metroid, but Bomberman is enough of a name to qualify as a fairly beloved franchise, with over 70 games to its name dating all the way back to the NES. And the funny thing is, Bomberman was initially not intended as a game. It was made as a tech demo to show off Hudson's basic computer. But when it hit the NES two years later, its bomb-dropping action and charming graphics instantly won people over, enough to keep Bomberman going to this day. Why, it was even popular enough to get into Smash Brothers. Thank God for assist trophies. We actually have seen a Bomberman game here before on Game Boy Roulette. Just over three years ago, we took a look at the Game Boy Color game Pocket Bomberman. And while it was a good game, it was very different from the standard top-down bombing gameplay that Bomberman is known for, instead meshing that gameplay with a side-scrolling puzzle platformer. I'm definitely curious to see if the cleverly named Bomberman GB is a faithful port of the original mechanics, or if it uses the handheld realm to play around with game mechanics, as so many other franchises did. The box art certainly seems to point to that second one. Indiana Bomber Jones here looks ready for action and... Okay, that one just has a gun. That's just an actual gun. I feel like we're getting away from the core bomber message here. This was Bomberman's first time on the handheld, so how did it do? Heads down, everyone. We're blasting into Bomberman GB. Well, well cutscene to start. In search of the legendary treasure... Is this literally just Indiana Jones? Bomberman has come to this land. Okay. We finally found the Ring of Wishes. But, okay, we're just, we're getting off on a weird tangent here. At that moment... Oh god, his eyes look weird that big. And so, Bomberman's new adventure begins. Like, the cover was an Indiana Jones ripoff, but is the game too? Bomberman GB. This music. It's like the dollar store version of the Indiana Jones theme. What is going on? They turned Bomberman into an Indiana Jones parody? What? Uh, okay, let's go. About a monster count, monster trial. Uh, what? Let's try monster trial. Well, it is Bomberman. Gotcha. Ha 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 ha. Krakow. What? Oh god, I was testing start and select. Start gives us the most wonderful pause screen ever. Wow, that is... That is an intensely drawn pause screen. And select just insta-kills you? Okay. Yeah, it's the definitive Bomberman experience so far. With much better graphics than on the NES. Haha! -ha, victory! Exit. What? Oh. Onward to uh, the Temple of Doom, presumably. So down there, there's a... Okay, how many lives have I... Oh, finally! One, two. Okay, there's the power-ups. It's Bomberman! I know I say that a lot, but they've gone with a very sort of... It's not- I would not even say it's toned down. If anything, it's better looking than the NES version. I'm moving very slow, but I'm looking at that icon in the bottom right. That could either be a speed up or a bomb size up. Uh, it's not speed up. Hang on. Okay, so that one is bomb size up. Oh, what have I done? Bomberman, no! Do I lose all of my power-ups? No, I don't. Wow. That's unexpected. Trapped! Bombed! Again, the Indiana Jones thing has me expecting this to be more of an adventure, but it's just a skin for a new Bomberman game. And a good version of Bomberman, too. No! I cl flew too close to the sun on wings of bomb. Ow. Ah, uh, I lost everything. Weak and impotent bomb. See, the thing about Bomberman is that it's always kind of had the same gameplay because they utterly perfected it originally. So, like, the most new games could introduce is better graphics and new power-ups. And maybe, like, a slight variance in game modes, but 
Usually not even that much. Bum, bum. That's very annoying. Area 1-4. Okay. This looks the same. Okay, I'm ready to see a new world, please. Although multiple bombs should make this a lot quicker. Again, though, it definitely feels like a big improvement from the NES version. Which you don't see a lot of on the Game Boy. Usually the Game Boy versions are, you know, a bit stripped down. But this game is actually doing everything the NES version did, but better. I am determined to see the next world. That's all I want at this point. I don't care how long it takes. Hang on, I'm gonna fast forward to when I actually get to a new world, unless it takes too long. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's an actual boss! Okay, we found... We found the variety. Nice! Okay. It's a cool looking boss, too. Did the original NES Bomberman have bosses? I feel like it did not. Because it also didn't have a story, it was just arcade style. Um... Oh, I get it. It's invulnerable sometimes. Gotcha. Oh, uh, he's pissed. Bomb. He doesn't care. Oh, the damage is stacking! No! When I play Game Boy games on Game Boy Roulette, I tend to play them for about 10, 12 minutes. The fact that I'm currently on minute 18 is telling me this game is doing a lot of things right. And that's a very, very good thing. Shoot. Oh, nice! Got it! Area 1, clear! Alright, let's just see Area 2. I really like this art. They did a great job making this game pretty. World 2 is... Learned how to use the whip. There's a whip? Whip the bombs which have been set. Oh, that's like the kick to move them. Oh my god. So you actually get power up as you progress further. Hideout swamp. What's regeneration swamp? Defeat all the monsters. Destroy the hideout first. So each path you take has different gameplay too. Okay, so you just walk into the bomb to whip it. Well, there's not much else I really need to see. This is... It's Bomberman in the best way possible. Uh-oh. 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 Uh... If only I was any good at Bomberman. I mean, it was good, but seriously, why the Indiana Jones thing? At this point, I'd normally say something along the lines of, it's just Bomberman, but to be honest, it's not. It's more than that. Yes, it had the same mechanics as the original Bomberman. You walk around a grid-based level, dropping bombs to kill enemies until everything is gone. But rather surprisingly, this is one of those rare games where the Game Boy version actually has more going for it than the NES version. The only real downside is that we don't ever get the bright and vibrant colors from the NES, but that's seriously where the drawbacks end. The game is really well animated and has a nice art style, even without the color, and that included some really nice still images, including the most stylish pause screen I've ever seen. Gameplay actually had some nice variation, as each world gave us choices on how we wanted to play the game, and rather than the flat grid to the NES version, each level had some real charm and character to it. Add in a really fun boss fight that perfectly worked with the mechanics of Bomberman, and we end up with one of the better retro Bomberman games I've ever played. So my go-to phrase for ports of it's more of the game doesn't work here, as it's way more than the original game. This is an upgrade of the original Bomberman in every way, and I thoroughly recommend it to any fan of the series. But uh, be wary. If the theme is anything to go by, he's going to be searching for the Crystal Skull in the next game. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.